Hello everyone, you are Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is vibration analysis of a cantilever beam in a Bacchus CAE. So, model analysis of cantilever beam for natural frequency and mod shape is performed in this video. So, the problem description is, it is a steel cantilever beam having a rectangular cross section. So, the length of beam is 0.4064. Width of the beam is 25.4 millimeter and then depth of the beam is 3.175 millimeter. So, modulus of elasticity of beam material is 210 gigapascal, Poisson's ratio is 0.3 and density is 7850. So, required is to determine natural frequency and mod shape for first three modes of vibration of beam. So next is steps of modeling and analysis. So modeling, analysis and results visualization, these are the main three steps. So in modeling, what you do, I am going to perform all these steps one by one for this analysis. So in MAT, uh, in Abacus CAE, so, units, there are no set units, so you have to select your own set of units. So, first set of unit is Newton meter Pascal, the other one pound inch PSI, you can use Newton millimeter mega Pascal or Newton per millimeter. So, I am going to use Newton meter Pascal. So, first need to set work directory and save model. So, here, file, set work directory and I'm going to set a work directory here and then this, I am going to save this model to so save as I am going to save it I'm going to save it cantilever beam 2D okay so this is now I'm going to start next first step in the modeling is to create part and part is 2D deformable wire so here you can double click on part or you can simply go here in the module part and then 2D deformable wire. And approximate size is I am using here one meter because the length of beam is about 0.4 meter. So I'm going to use that as one to continue. And then you need to, I'm using it as a wire so let's say here connected line i am going to draw it so then i need to add dimension to it so here is it add dimension okay so and it is 0 0.4064 0 0.4064 okay and then i can drag it to the Origin like so now I have dragged that model to origin, so it's done. So now the first part to create model is done. Next is in the property module to create material and you need to add density and in general density and mechanical elasticity, elastic and need to add. Modulus of elasticity and Poisson's ratio. So for that one here you have material, double click on material or you can go to the property and click here. So the material is steel in general density 7850 kilogram per meter in mechanical elasticity, elastic uh, that is Young's modulus is 210 into 10 to raise power 9 and then Poisson's ratio is 0.3. So the material has been created steel, its density 7.50, its uh, modulus of elasticity is 210 into 10, uh, 210 e raised per 9 and then Poisson's ratio is 0.3. Next step is in property create profile and profile is rectangular and need to assign width and depth. So for that case here you can have directly profile okay or you can see profile here so double click on create profile okay and you have here rectangular 
so rectangular i named it as rectangular continue and here you need to add width and depth so the width is 25.4 into 10 to raise power minus 3 and its depth is 3.175 into 10 to raise power minus 3 and click ok so now this profile rectangular profile has been created next step is create section and then assign section so here you have section okay so create section and section is a beam section so beam and then beam continue and then it has already rectangular section and then material as beam so click ok and then i can assign section from here or otherwise you can go to the part and then here is the section assignment so section assignment or assign section so it says that Select the region to be assigned section, done, and then section is being assigned. Next is in the property module, set beam orientation and assign beam orientation. And here in the property module, here is assign beam orientation. And it says select the region to be assigned beam orientation. So select it, done, and keep that default, press enter and then okay so now the beam orientations have been defined next is to create mesh and seed edges and i'm going to use here size as one millimeter so this is your choice and mesh part assign element type so here you can click in the part mesh or you can in the module mesh and here i am going to use seed edge so that is seed edge done and it say by size so size is one millimeter so size i am using here as one e raised power minus three and apply so it is a very very fine mesh okay so for 2d it's okay but that's not very good for 3d okay so now next click here to mesh part it say okay to mesh part yes and then assign element type so standard beam you can use linear or quadratic so here i have mentioned it b21 or b22 so linear is b21 or quadratic is b22 so for 2d uh, analysis like consider being beam as 2d so linear or quadratic it doesn't make any difference but for 3d the edge as a lot different so let's say i'm going to use that linear okay next step is assembly and create instance so you can use a model tree here to here to create instance or you can go here in assembly uh, module okay here assembly module okay and then you can create instance so that is a part already okay so that assembly has been that part one is there now next step is to create step and step is linear perturbation frequency and i'm going to name that as model then egan solver is length loss and egan values i am requesting five so i am requesting here five mod shapes so here in the step that is a create step or you can simply go here and double click create step so step is linear perturbation and frequency perturbation and frequency so i named it as model continue and then here egan solver is lens source and then number of egan value requested i am requesting five modes although in the problem description three modes were requested but i am going to use that five modes okay so now here you can see that model name type frequency it is created next step is to create boundary condition in the load module and i am using one end as fixed so it is in load you can go and this is the create boundary conditions or you can here apply boundary conditions 
So I'm using a boundary condition and step is initial and then displacement rotation to continue and select the region for boundary condition. So I am going to select this point as boundary condition. Okay, this one. So done and then U1, U2 and U3 because this is a fixed end. So for fixed end all uh, translational and rotational displacements need to be set as zero. Okay. So now the boundary conditions here you can see a boundary condition is being applied at that point here. So molding part is done. Now the analysis need to create job. First data check and then submit. So I've named that as cantilever beam 2D cant beam 2D and here's the job. Click on the job and name is there. Cantilever beam 2D, continue, okay. And then right click on it, cantilever beam 2D and then submit, okay. Otherwise you can go here in the job and then here to create job. So, but before that you can run data check as well because it is a very simple problem. So I haven't run data check, but it's always important that you run data check to check any possible uh problem so now it is completed the job is completed the next step is visualization in the results so results are complete so i can right click and go to the results or you can simply go to the visualization and here in the output database i can see that is cantilever beam to the odb so now now that is a base state, so I am using this double model here, so like as undeformed and deformed. So here that is a base state, and this is the that is the first mode. So background is very dark. I can go view and then graphic options, and then I can select a solid white background. Okay, so now you can see here, so that is undeformed shape and that is a first mode and the frequency for first mode is 16.061. Then click here for the next, so that is the next mode and for the next mode, the frequency is 100.62 and then the third mode, it is 281.61. So these are the three modes so you can view that beam in 3d so view and then here is odb display option in general random beam profile with the scale factor of one to so apply okay so this is now undeformed uh, sorry that is the third mode okay that is the second mode and that is first mode second and third or you can see that in 3D as well. So that is undeformed beam. And so like that is a base state. And then you can check that this is undeformed. And that is a first and second mode. So that one you can see so that is the first, second, and third mode shapes of the beam. So I have like I have this beam, uh, the calculation, uh, it's analytical calculation as well for mod shapes and frequencies. So, so I'm going to compare these results with the analytical one or the theoretical one. So I have that script and I calculated natural frequencies and mod shapes. So these are the mod shapes and natural frequencies. So for, for the first code is 16.06. So what I got here for the first mod, its value is 16.061. And the mod shape here, it is uh, very much similar to the theoretical one, but doesn't make any difference if it's going upward or downward or the flexion is positive or negative. And that is the second mod, the second mod and its uh, natural frequency is 100.62. Uh, 100 and uh, from 
the theoretical one it is 100.65 and that is the blue one is the second mod shape and then the third mod shape so that is the third mod shape and corresponding is 281.61 and it is 281.86 so there is less than uh, one percent difference between the theoretical analytical one and what you have calculated from a backer so if you are not getting uh, very good results or like which are not if they are not matching the analytical one so you can adjust element size uh, or mesh you can adjust i hope uh, you find this video helpful